It's, it's amazing. I think the first thing you try and get used to is the idea that you've won a gold medal at this Games. Um, you know, you come out here, you're not thinking about records that have been put down on pieces of paper. You're thinking about the races that you've got at the event. Um, I'm defending champion in all four events I've got out here. So to defend the first one successfully uh, in better way than I suppose I did in London. It was faster this morning. I achieved a catch in the final quicker than I did in London as well, which was completely unexpected. So yeah, I'm absolutely delighted. And then when you add it together to the things that have happened in the past, and you're obviously told, you know, you've made history. The first person I got to speak to was uh, Baroness Tani Gray Thompson. So that was an incredibly special moment, and she'll always remain a hero of mine. Um, she's right on, at the top of my pedestal, I think. She managed it in one sport. I've, I've had to do it in two, and it's taken me 24 years to get here as well. No, it's a surreal moment and Tani's one of the most generous people with her support. She, right from the very very first games, you know, she was the person who won four gold medals when I won two in Barcelona. And she was always there giving support and, uh, and, and lending that generous support. So I feel very grateful that she's been able to watch as well, but also to receive that support. It's just, it's really quite overwhelming. Well, it's something that I got down to a tee during the Games in London. Um, I didn't quite allow myself as much celebration as tonight, but then tonight's a little bit different. Um, you know, I've, not often that you take history, as people keep telling me. But no, you, tomorrow I'll be straight back to training and then focusing on the 500 metres, and it's just about taking each race as it comes. Uh, the 500, there's no pressure on me. It's a race where I can go out there and just see how fast I can be. Um, and then we get down to the road races um, early part of next week. Look at, we've looked at the courses now, and we're now just going to look at the time trial course when it's closed. Um, and yeah, just get prepared for what I do most of my road racing. 99% of the time I'm doing my road racing, so it's probably a more familiar environment, really. Yeah, we weren't able to come out here before, so we, we went straight down to the road circuits when we arrived and um, to get those in our heads. It's important that you know every every corner, every cobble, um, everything about the race, especially for the descents as well. Uh, the climbs are also quite twisty, um, got several turns in there, so you need to know which is the final turn before the top, so that if you're thinking about making an attack, then you can obviously make it at the right time and not go too early and then blow up. So we went down to spend... Yeah, I mean, a big, it's a big challenge doing the track before the road because the road you don't want to be too rested for, otherwise you lose a little bit of conditioning. And especially with the, the road course here, with the, the hilly nature of that, you've got to be careful you don't gain any weight on the track that then you can't drag up hills. So it, there is a big challenge compared to the one we had in London. The London course was more rolling, so it's a bit more forgiving perhaps. Um, but here it's obviously a big challenge with this, the different type. But once you know how to recce your course, you can get it into your head quite quickly. I've got a photographic memory as well, which helps when you're looking at sort of pace notes and things like that. So yeah, I think being you know seasoned at it does definitely help. But obviously you still got to get there on the ground and do the groundwork when you arrive. It's, I find it really difficult to believe Barcelona was 24 years ago. It certainly doesn't feel like that. I can remember the detail of the races almost as if it was just a few years ago and, and perhaps better than I can the detail of more, more recent races. Um, my first gold medal was in the 100 metres backstroke in 92. It's pretty much 24 years to the day. We're trying to find out the exact date it was in September because the Games in Barcelona opened on the 5th of September. Um, so it's almost 24 years to the day. And it was a 100 backstroke against a German swimmer who'd never been beaten before. And I was the first person to beat her and I knocked just over three seconds off her world record. And I just remember how excited I was, the fact I had actually beaten her. And I just, just never stopped smiling the rest of the week, won another gold medal in the tournament medley and then came home and realized that this is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And I can't quite believe that I am almost doing it. It's a lifetime, 24 years, but yeah, I've had great fun, some big challenges along the way. Um, chronic fatigue syndrome as a teenager when I was at university um, in my late teens, early 20s and that nearly took my career away forever. Uh, but fortunately I came back and met an incredible coach in Colin Hood um, and he brought me back from, um, well, almost my deathbed I suppose. I was incredibly um, ill as an athlete at that point um, to come back to switch sports and then obviously be able to take my third title in a row in the individual pursuit. Um, yeah, I can't quite believe it. It's amazing. I mean, you don't really imagine what it's going to feel like but having Louisa in the crowd just made it even better than it could ever have been.